Welcome. Welcome. It's fa Facebook Friday again, Lisa. It is. It is. And all our friends are coming. I know. It's yeah. so exciting. It's always very nice to see everybody. <laughs> it yeah. really is. And I know, I have a funny feeling that um, daughter Petra may be saying hello first. What oh. do you think? Oh, She's done be. it twice She's in a row. It. Yeah, that's right. She likes being first. She likes being first. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to everyone. Yes. And hopefully um, we will be uh, entertaining you today. Okay. <laughs> Morning, Pat. <laughs> we just predicted that you would be the first one in. <laughs> Good morning. I'm so glad you're here because that's always so reassuring to know that, you know, people can actually write in and we can see your comments. Yeah, that's right. It's always nice to see the comments. So, yes, you are first. That reminds me of Richard and I had a story about when we first met and we would all, both of us would say things like, but we're always first oh. um, because we met at a, at the ferry cafeteria. And first I, in line. And I was first in line. <laughs> Actually, I was first in line. And he came almost running up like he does very fast. And he said, but I'm always first. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first words out of his mouth. <laughs> and I said, and no, you hadn't no. even met him yet. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've been trying to go first ever since. Anyway, welcome to everyone. Looks like um, Kathy Bird is here. Yes. Do you think you could man the... I, I can, but or, I have to reach over this way, so... Well, you can woman the, the I scroll can thing. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So but you I, can't see very well? I'm, I'm, well, it's just that I'm, le I'm leaning. So, yeah. But which is not a big deal. You're allowed to lean. Yeah. Okay. Donna Granger, hello. <laughs> oh, it's and foggy, Loretta is foggy there. and cold today and... and Good. Berkeley. Hi, Heather. Yeah, what a change. Yeah, <laughs> what a change. Maxine, Maxine Trisha, Trisha. Uh -huh. Dory, hello. Mid-70s, very nice. That's nice temperatures. Yeah, exactly. It looks like Patty's yeah. off today. Yep. Okay. Yay, Patty. <laughs> and is that a stitching seminar? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Mary says it's uh, sunny in Iowa. Lucky nice. you. By the way, over here, because we're getting weather reports now, um, we have overcast and it was pouring all night. It was. And yes. No problem. But, you know, pouring, pouring, pouring. In fact, I think our roof, um, what do you call it? The, I can't remember the name of the, the gutters. The gutter. Were mm -hmm. overflowing because yeah. uh, suddenly I woke up about five o'clock and I heard like something totally pouring oh, on pouring? the cement okay and I thought, yeah. uh oh yeah better go and the, unclog that the gutters that are, are full mm -hmm. and um hi joy hi joy and you say cold but sunny sydney i like to know how cold joy yes we need yeah. to know <laughs> centigrade please <laughs> jeans are here and, uh, petty says oh with beth i don't know that yeah. lady but i hope you have a wonderful time as long as it's needlework Kathleen says, I made it in time. Yay, Yay. Kathleen. <laughs> Shelly, oh, how oh, lovely. 92. Wow, that's really hot. That's yes. warm. That's, yeah. It's a little too warm for me. And I know yeah. it's also humid there if you're inland. Absolutely. So hopefully you're near the coast. You get some of those breezes. That's right. But even 83 for Kathleen, that'd still be a little yeah, warm for us. Yeah, we're getting... January apparently. Yeah, January. <laughs> That's what we call it here on the West Coast. Yeah, because for some reason during June, the, especially the middle part, the uh -huh. beginning to middle part, yeah. we almost always have quite wet, either wet or wet, cloudy weather. Wet for sure. or cloudy, and the temperatures tend to drop. Yeah, and oddly enough, then by the end of June, when all the kids get That's out, right. they bang, start warming it's summertime. up again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, Joy says, "Uh oh, ten degrees centigrade outside." Thank you for centigrade. Ooh, yes. And dark. Oh, of course it's dark. Yes, it would be dark. But, <laughs> yeah. Ten, 10 degrees for dark. That sounds like we what we were last night with about 10. So. 10 degrees and dark? Were yeah. we dark last night too? We were dark last night too. <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> Shelly lives only 10 minutes from the ocean. Okay, you get some of those yeah. breezes. That's good. 30 in Denver. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Zero yeah. humidity. Oh, that is nice. So it's warm, but not so wet and clammy. <gasps> 110 in Arizona. Wow. Yes, we'd love to send you some. Yeah. <laughs> Let's part, there's a little cloud outside. Yeah, right. We'll send that down to you. Yes. The little yeah. cloud covers our entire province, my dear. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, and last night, have they, they said um, on the weather, the weather people, we weren't supposed to get rain until lunchtime. Today. Today. They okay. lie. Yeah, they and lie. Again. <laughs> <laughs> no one can ever predict our weather. Anyway, that's enough about weather. Thank you for those of you who have come and seen us and come and join us here. I really appreciate yep. it. So how are you all? 
is anyone experiencing any challenges, particularly in the stitching area, of yes. course? Uh, but are you doing well? Are you, is your health okay? Because, you know, we yeah. keep assuming that everyone's in good health, and hopefully mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. And we certainly are. Uh, Patricia Rideout is here, and Sylvie's here. Karen, uh, Karen hi. Hi. Carol yeah. says hi, too. Northern New York is windy. And, you know, yeah. that's more like our temperature is 68. Um, anyway, so we have had quite the week, and one of the things that we've noticed is that our, on our new website, sometimes the inventory isn't absolutely accurate. Yes. And we're struggling yeah. with that right now. So if you find something is out of stock, could you just let us know, either let us know that you want to order it, basically. Yeah. If you don't want to order it, don't worry, because things do go out of stock, you know. Yes, we, we do get it, go out of stock, yes. But if you want something, we'll just double check to make sure that inventory number is correct. And we are working on it, Yes. so it should be yeah. fixed by the end of this weekend. But if you're looking at something and you go, oh, there's no none in stock, then double check and make sure that, you know, we can answer you. Oh, Sandy says, good uh, Friday oh. morning from Missouri. And I think there's a couple of other comments that we missed here. Dory says it was supposed to rain here. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Mary <laughs> Hawthorne. And Judy. Snow uh, on Tuesday for Mary. Wow. Sylvie, we missed yeah. you. Kathy Marone, we missed you too. Sorry about that, you guys. Yeah. You guys go by so quickly. Sylvie says she lost her mojo for stitching. Yeah, that does happen. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been able to stitch, but I haven't lost the actual mojo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want yeah. to. I just don't have the time. <laughs> so it looks like uh, she was negative. Oh, Carol says yeah. she's fine. Good. And actually, there's some uh, some things that, that say that you might have it, but you don't have any symptoms. I think that yeah. that could be the case for a number of people or you have mild symptoms yeah. so you don't really think about it but i've had hay fever and you know anything like that just makes me go uh oh yes that's right <laughs> i get hay fever in june yeah <laughs> these days and you know when you're sneezing or whatever you kind of you what kind is of, it what is what it, is it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we've had a week about that and then what else did we do this week because there was lots of things that we ended up doing this week, Ma mainly yeah. trying to keep up with orders. There's yeah. been a slew of them. Yeah. Thank you to all of you. I've been working on the new releases, so, yeah. <gasps> and so when are they coming out? July so sometime. Yeah. Really? Not until the end of, <laughs> oh, no, not until the end of June. I was kind of hoping earlier. Yeah, no, no? I don't no? think so. She's in charge. Yeah, I am. And so you can't. You, there's no. There's no um, inventory yet. There's no inventory yet. Well, that but doesn't help. But they also need to be finished up with photos and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, so. oh! Now she's looking at me. <laughs> Put the blame on you. <laughs> oh, that's probably just as well. Okay, so just send me the. You know my instructions. Well, I'm writing down a list of what still needs to be done. For oh, all the I'm releases, glad. So. Yeah, because they do need to. Things need but, to be kept up. Yeah. I usually do the photography yes. because I have a little photography studio in the back. And uh, Lisa does all the um, layout, which means the instructions. She has to think them up and, um, you know, carefully write them and all the diagrams. And all the inside is really you. But any Pretty photographs that get taken and put in, those are generally done with either me or me and you, right? Yes. Because we do finishing That's photos right. as well. There's no finishing photos for this. Please. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, good. But we did make some really cute models. And we I'm did. Really looking forward to showing you all. Yeah. But it won't be for oh, a little bit yet. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. We might, I might push, you know, just a little bit harder to see if we can <laughs> release them a little earlier. <laughs> and she's laughing. Yeah. Get wishful thinking. <laughs> ah. Now I said, you lost your mojo. I was just tested. Good. Do you have symptoms? And I think she's replying to Carol. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. We should Zoom one time. Yeah, Patty, I heard that Zoom, actually, even though it's a really great thing to do, uh, Zoom can also have great problems, yes. especially with a lot, lot of lar mm -hmm. large number of people. So we investigated and we didn't want to get into that. We just want to have some fun. Yes, and that's right. So not have any technical not yet. issues. <laughs> we have enough yes. issues so far with all of our new systems. So but we do keep it in mind. And whether it's Zoom or some other way that we all can mm -hmm. say something, uh, I think that that's in the cards as we develop things. 
we're just the little embroiderers and we only have a few people working here. That's right. So exactly. Joy asked if you embroidered your your top. Yes, I spent all night. No. <laughs> it's machine embroidered. Thank yeah. you though. Yeah. I think it looks like it was done in uh China. It's probably a um uh, machine embroidered in, in some factory yeah. in China, but it is very pretty. Thank you. Dory says, I had been exposed. Oh, that makes sense. So yeah. then you're just uh, making sure. Ladies from sunny Pennsylvania, Sir Serena. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. It looks like someone else said good morning. Kathy James is here. Mm -hmm. Welcome. So um, the thing is that we don't have an awful lot to um, discuss as far as new stuff is concerned. No. One of the things I, I hadn't really considered what it might be like to ask you all to finish one one thing that you were almost finished on. And I, I think I saw a bunch of people saying I did finish something, but that was, I had to tell you this, the when we do a, a chat group like this, there's a lot of comments in the chat group. That's true. Right? That we don't get to during the and I don't go Time. back and look no. at them all. I, no. And in fact, yesterday I did go through some of them and I found some people oh. who said, I did finish something. Oh. But normally speaking, we don't go back through this chat the group. Chat group. No, we don't. So no. the comments that come on that as we can see them coming yes. up, we try to answer as quickly and as Absolutely. thoroughly as we can. Absolutely. But once this stream is over, we tend not to look at the discussion group. No, yeah. we don't look at For those. this. Exactly. For these comments. Yes. So, do, if you have a question or um, want to say, yes, I did finish <laughs> something. Just put it on. A new post. Yeah, a new post. Absolutely. You know, don't use this group to answer more and more because honestly, I can't keep up. That's yeah. really what it comes down to. And we'd love to find out whether you finished something we or do. not. We do. Someone, um, if you scroll up there, Patricia is working on the Mystic Needlework Smalls. Excellent. Those are cute. They're yeah, so you're really doing a fun, oh, good. fun stitch. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, Patricia. So when you're finished them, uh, they don't have to be like finished, like, you know, um, into, into something. Piece. Yeah. <laughs> Just when you're done stitching. stitching. Exactly. Just post. It will be wonderful Absolutely. to see what you've done. And uh, it looks like, oh, I can click on this. Greetings from Mexico. Hello, Consuela. How are you doing? It's Consuelo. Okay. Consuelo. Very nice to see yes. you. I'm glad you're here. And Serena says, do you have any special needles you like to use? Thank you for that. Yeah, um, I, no, I just use a regular tapestry needle. Do you have any yep. special needles you like to use? I think you may be talking about tapestry needles and various different ones, because we do use the old colonial tapestry needles, do we well, not? Well, they're actually, the company is old, is Colonial Needles. Oh, okay, see how, I yeah. don't know these But needles. they are a John James needle. Which oh, comes okay. from England. Okay, so there yeah. you are. We use the finest needles, yeah. don't we? Well, <laughs> I just use a just a regular tapestry needle. Is, yeah, and yeah. actually it's really interesting about needles because we do have a variety of needles. And mm -hmm. I like using the 26 um, if my as long as my middle finger is toughened up. Yeah. But the, I tell you, the 26 can pierce, Absolutely. right? So you can wear these little um, a bit of, what's it called? Called moleskin. Moleskin, yeah. which you can buy at any drugstore. You can cut it into little rounds, or sometimes it comes pre-done mm -hmm. into little mm -hmm. rounds. You can put a little sticker of moleskin, and that actually stops the needle from going it through does. too much. Yes. Unless yeah. you've, you've actually used the moleskin up, then you have to put another circle yeah. of moleskin <laughs> But I've had that lately because I haven't been stitching as much. So I think my, you know how you get guitar the calluses. Yeah, worn off. you get guitar calluses. I haven't had a needlework callus for some time, and it's worn off for sure. So I do like using 26s because they're thin and they're nice. But I've been having to use the 24s because they have a slightly um, larger, um, larger end. Yeah. You know, so I larger can push eye. Through. Yes, and then there's number 10 um, short beading needles, yes. which we love to use for our be beading, although they don't work so well for the teeny tiny petite beads. No, they're not um, that good for a petite. It depends on the petite, though. Some have a really close um, hole in them. Yeah, in so. which case you can use like an 11 yeah. or a 12 beading yes. needle. Yes. Yeah, and then we also use straw or milliner needles for our bullion knots. That's right. So that's, those are the needles we use. And actually yesterday when I was looking at the Colonial, colonial Needle website, 
they actually have a needle called a bullion needle. A what do they need? Bullion needle. Bullion? Bullion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So it's a bullion needle. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so it's called that. It's called that. Okay, so yeah. we, maybe we'll get some in. They're considerably more expensive than just a regular straw milliner's needle. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, to think a package of three was like seven bucks. <gasps> no. And we're a package of straw what milliners. What we sell our mil milliners for on our website? I can't remember, but, but they, they were quite a bit more expensive than just the regular straw milliners. Well, that's the way you do it, right? When you are a manufacturing company, you give them people what they want, that's and right. then you probably hike up the price. That's, yes. We don't do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Kate says, good morning. Patricia says, sunny, cool day near Rochester, New York. I love that name, Rochester. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I've heard it several times. I love the name. Linda says, hi. Hello, Linda. Patricia Nolte says, Pat Carson needles Never are the best. Heard of those. No, no, this is new to us. Thank yeah. you very much for letting us know. We'll investigate. You never yeah. know. We might be able to cho choose different ones. Absolutely. If there's any that don't pierce the end of my middle finger, That's I'd what, be the very one you want. happy. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer McEwen. You're beautiful too. Even yeah. though we can't see you, we know you are. <laughs> Kathleen says, I use 28 bohin or peacemakers. Mm. A 28 needle. Now that would be very thin. Mm -hmm. That really sounds like a good one. Absolutely. Is Peacemaker is a kind of a, a needle that is used a lot in quilting, do you I, think? That I, I, I'm I've just never guessing. heard of them before. But it's good to know that Bowen has um, needles. Mm -hmm. We might have to look into those. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we do actually uh, mm -hmm. get a lot of mm -hmm. the Bowen scissors. We so. do, yeah. Hi, Linda Bazarski and Norma Farrow. Hello. Very nice to hear. You're in Webster, New York. It looks like a, mm -hmm. fa a fair number of people, people from New York. People in New York today? Mm -hmm. And yep. the other thing that I've been working on is um, creating the um, some historical videos, believe it or not. Things to do with samplers and where they mm. came from and hmm. what their history is and why are, on earth do we call ourselves a Victoria sampler? <laughs> Does okay. anyone know that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I did start out with uh, samplers themselves. Um, yes. And, but, you know, generally, as soon as uh, Lisa started helping finish things, I was then able to do some designs for other things like pin cushions, which we have one yeah. behind us there. Got a actually, couple a couple behind. of them behind mm -hmm. us, you know, things like the strawberry one. Yeah. Um, this one. So then these things can then be finished. And that was something that I hadn't, I don't have that talent. So until Lisa started finishing things, it was really all samplers. samplers. Yeah. That's what that I was were doing. That were framed. Exactly. And sometimes box tops. Um, not quite yes. sure if I can reach this one, but can you reach that one? No, this one behind me. I, isn't there one behind okay, sorry, me? Uh, oh, no, you're, you're I guess not. The wrong one. There's one behind me, though. There's a box. <laughs> no, I was thinking of another pin cushion. <laughs> Oh, there is another pin cushion behind you. There, I knew yeah. it. I knew it, yeah. but I couldn't see behind me. Exactly. Here, I can grab that. Just hang on. Ugh. Here, I can hold this one, and you can hold this one. So this one is the bumblebee, bumblebee pin, cushion. pin cushion right now. And this is, of course, a box, and it's taken from the top of the family sampler, mm -hmm. heirloom family sampler, this one. So doing box tops is kind of a fun thing because mm -hmm. you can get some of these boxes. This one's a Sudbury, right? That's a Sudbury box, Yeah, yes. exactly. And what is that one? This is one of our spindle pin cushions. Mm -hmm. And many of you have seen these already, but still, those are the kinds of things we can do because of your talents. Um, oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> and you can say, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other ones, the ones that we frame, are almost always um, samplers. And when I think about the historical value of samplers, you know, they started like, Thousands of years, no, maybe not thousands, maybe hundreds of years hundreds ago. Of years. Um, yeah. In Europe, people were not able to get um, patterns, paper patterns. So they would take their um, a, a bit of linen, a strip of linen, and they would just stitch the things that they found on other people's mm -hmm. um, work. And of course, they were using uh, long strips of linen because that was available back then. The looms were making these narrow strips. Yep. So they would take something that wasn't really all that nice, but they would use them as doodle cloths and they'd roll up the yes. sampler of the stitches they wanted to keep for their future households. They would roll that thing up and put it in their 
pockets under their petticoats. And uh, that's um, kind of like, uh, essempleur is the French word for it, but basically it was a sample of many of the different stitches, different stitches. and motifs yeah. and techniques that they had learned and they wanted to bring to their uh, new household so that they could embellish things like pillows and, and their petticoats and whatever else that they needed for their new household. But mostly these kinds of samplers were done by people who had the time. Mm -hmm. So they'd be like the nobility. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the, your everyday person wasn't no, doing that back no. then. Um, but then they became more stylized. And then you've seen some antique samplers, right? They, yeah. They'll put their home on there because mostly women making these. They put their home or their house or something important like a school. And then they'd also add some sampler stitches. And they'd add, I don't know, flowers and birds mm -hmm. and deer and all of the little motifs that they'd gathered on their sampler. They transferred those over because the paper patterns weren't um, published widely yet. No, they weren't. No. So all that is really interesting and it's like a real quick encapsulation and I am not a historian <laughs> by no means, but I read things here and there and I kind of got this idea of the what we're doing here with Victoria Sampler is we're basically connected to all those people that did that yes. so many years ago. And we are also driven by the same uh, uh, need to connect with all the needle women in the centuries past. Yeah, that's my little yeah. thing. And I was thinking about that a lot this week. So I thought, well, I'll just talk yeah. about it a little bit. <laughs> um, hi from Florida. Uh, Joy says they also use samplers by young women to show employers. Exactly. Now, that was more yeah. later on. In the 14th century, they weren't doing that so much. Mm. But later on, yes, especially schoolgirl type samplers. Yes, yeah. yeah. Orphanages train girls to do this. So work. they'd have a trade. Yeah. Exactly, Joy. And it looks like you've also already um, read some of the wonderful books that are out there. There are some excellent books on history. And I kind of got connected with that when I started working on linen. Mm -hmm. yes. when, when I work yeah. on linen, I get the feeling that uh, somehow I'm doing the same thing as all those women have in the past. In the past. It, it just yep. feels really... Yeah. Um, satisfying to um, to be part of that and to carry on the traditions. Yes. Yeah. So that's part of the reason why you know we're the Victoria Stamp. Yeah. <laughs> and besides that, I had to use anything other than Victoria. I had to use another word. And what was I making? Hello, samplers. Samplers, yes. <laughs> so that's where the name. And came you from. were in Victoria, so you know exactly. Yeah. I was even living there yeah. at that time. It looks like Deb Summerlot is here, Jennifer Nardiello, Bre Brenda Wilson. Uh, Carol says she's from Rochester. <laughs> That's so interesting. And it figures, you'd be near Rochester. <laughs> Good. So many of us have gone back to work uh, in uh, BC. Yeah. You know, they're like the restaurants are now at 50%, and I believe they are going up to 75% very soon. I thought I had heard that there was going to be an increase to the number of people allowed, but I thought I had also heard they need to state how many people were in the restaurant yeah, but it's before expanding, all this right? happened. Yeah, exactly. They have to, yeah, something about listing the number of people they've had. But things are improving yeah. still. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we're crossing our yes. fingers that we don't, every time something happens that kind of releases things, yes. I'm waiting for two weeks before I go, Absol Yahoo. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, definitely. I mean, recently, did you hear that there was an outbreak um, after a family get together? Mm hmm. And then, you know, NBC, NBC, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden 12 people from this family um, get together, got uh, diagnosed with COVID-19. Yeah, that so, seems so unlikely, right? You would have imagined that yeah. one person would have had it and that's okay. But how does it like for one gathering then transmit anyway? Too so that's hugs. too many hugs, too many hugs. We miss our hugs and sharing food. Yes, I suppose that yeah. could be it too. Anyway, so I know that the, you know, here and there, I think that there are, oh, Donna says things are opening up here and now the cases are increasing. Yeah. And that's to be expected, I would imagine. But even if they're increasing slightly, that's okay. Yes. Right? But yes. if they're like, or whatever. That's right. Absolutely. So everything has to still be very delicately done. And I hope you all keep, uh, keep safe. Yes. And uh, do all of the stuff that people tell you to do, even though it's boring when you don't see yeah. everybody. <laughs> 
we're very lucky that we got to work together we through this do, thing. Yes, exactly. You're in my bubble. Definitely. So they, <laughs> make, and, make check who's in your bubble, they say. So yeah, you know. and and the thing is that we all have a certain uh, amount of people that we see on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and that way they can track you if Absolutely. there's an issue. Because you know you have your family, and you're not going to live like in separate rooms yeah. and never go anywhere and whatever. So we had to. Um, uh, maintain and we decided it had way back then that yeah. and thank goodness because um our our fans would miss us absolutely we managed to continue on mm -hmm. um with what we love to do mm -hmm. exactly one of the wonderful things that we love to do is talk to you guys kathleen says um as of five o'clock this evening restaurants can have people inside but i'm like you i'm going to wait a couple yeah of weeks. absolutely <laughs> jennifer yeah. says i love the zoom groups well yeah. it sounds like there are actual groups out there doing zoom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so maybe i'll uh, chat with you uh jennifer and see what kind of size the zoom groups are mm -hmm. and who knows maybe there are the reports that Zoom has issues uh, could be wildly exaggerated. That's why we didn't continue doing mm -hmm. it, actually. Zoom groups are wonderful, but you do have to set them up. Yes. And then you have yeah. to take care of the people who can't get in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't have that kind of time uh, these days to do the, those kinds of things. Um, it would be really wonderful if we had that time. We mm -hmm. would set it up, we would, you know, negotiate, we'd figure it out, and then we'd communicate with all the people who yep. needed to get in. Um, but at the, at the moment, I think we're just going to stick with what we know. Mm -hmm. And Mickey says she's being very careful. Yes. Uh, Jennifer says, let's chat. Exactly. Deb says, Deb says, Fred and I went out to eat last night for the first time since February. Much fewer tables, throwaway menus, sanitary. Exactly. Yeah. Those are the kinds of things that we're all experiencing. And, you know, we try not to talk about this whole pandemic thing on our group because we know that it's going on for all of you. Yes. You all, but it's affected so much of our lives. It has. That it's yeah. almost difficult not to at least mention it during yeah. one of our streams. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry if, yeah. you know, you don't, you've heard enough about that's it. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that that's the case. Petra has got a wonderful, um, oh, it looks like Jennifer has to go back. Bye. Sorry that your yeah. tablet isn't keeping up with us. Oh. <laughs> We're fast ladies. <laughs> um, Petra has uh, put together a little mail out for everyone again this week, which is wonderful. Um, and uh, I have all of the, the models here. Well, actually, I have not all of the models. Oh, okay. In fact, I couldn't find good friends up and down. Did I give that back to Yvonne? back in the I day? I don't think so. I thought I saw it here a little while ago. So we, no, we no, have the side all over. We have the side or, by side one. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no, but I thought we, we yeah. I haven't seen the long one uh, forever in a no. day. No? You, I thought maybe I'd given no, it to Yvonne so. because Yvonne and I actually did the, that one mm -hmm. together, right? No, she did I, one heart and I did another. I don't think you did. I mean, unless it's in the, um, like the I have, office. I have this one, which is good friends. Mm -hmm. And you can see the two hearts, um, and I think Yvonne did the one that wasn't cut out. I, I think we we decided that she was going to do that one with yes. all the pearls on it. Yes. And the bullion, the bullion knots. Bullion knots. <laughs> <laughs> and I did the Hardanger one with the silk ribbon, right? That, yes. That was how we right. divided it up. Absolutely. And I think Yvonne did the the, uh, the words and the. Um, floral the border, border around the outside exactly mm -hmm. so i didn't do as much as she did but we did work on it together and designed it together anyway we do have the up and down one i believe it's in our little leaf oh maybe i couldn't find it oh there there it is so i'm, I'm sure i've seen this around here somewhere so this is the yeah. actual um sorry it's a little bit shiny here yeah. from our lights but you can see the two hearts are here too right so the, the top is Yvonne's heart, and it's got beautiful pearl beads all throughout. And there's my bottom one with the heart anger and the silk ribbon. And in between, there's actually some really nice bands. You can see that um, uh, vine is under the words, good friends. And I love the words because um, that's something that's really important these days. We've got lots mm -hmm. of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And it is true that our good friends listen with their hearts. Absolutely. And so that's one of the ones that Petra chose to to uh, share with you all as a PDF. Mm -hmm. So now you can get this one 
without having to wait for the mail to yeah. come. <laughs> and this one is also charted, I believe, in the back. As you can see, that's the one that's charted. And we have this one as a model also. You want to show this one? Yeah, that's right. That's the actual model with a little tag on it. But anyway, there we go. Isn't that the cutest thing? It's also um, beautifully finished. Was, did you finish that I one? did. It's my fabric, yes. Yeah, I still have this fabric. I think I'm out of the purple stuff, though, which I really <laughs> loved. And next week, I think we're going to get this one. I don't think we have that one uh, this time. It's a little free pattern, but um, it will arrive at some point. Right, Petra? <laughs> Petra is watching this. So this is called Good Friends, and I just wanted you to know about it because um, Petra wanted to choose things that were about friendship. And honestly, that's what's getting us through. Yeah, absolutely. All these, all these times. It's not easy to um, go through what we're all going through these days. So I'm not too sure if there is... Mickey says, I can't do a bullion knot no matter what. Mickey, I have seen you do a bullion knot, I believe. Like, actually, with my eyes. And I think it was a good knot. What you need to do with a bullion knot, though, is to give it some space and do a lot of them because when you've done a bunch of them on your doodle cloth over and over and over and mm -hmm. over and over and then start building like a rose or something with them you get better yeah you really do practice makes perfect also you need to use the right needle oh that long uh, milliner's yeah. straw needle yeah. so important yeah. do not use a tapestry needle they will not turn out no not as easily and yeah. i found also that with any knot the, one of the big basic things is that you have your ground fabric and you're not holding it. You yes. have to have it taut because unless you have both hands, yeah. that bullion knot is really difficult. Uh, absolutely. You need both hands because you need to hold the uh, coils around the needle while you pull, pull the needle through. Yeah. So if you're trying to do a bullion knot, for instance, I'm not saying you are, mm -hmm. but if anyone is trying to do a bullion knot and they're holding the fabric or even the the frame that's right in their other hand yeah you're, you're not, missing out yeah you need both <laughs> hands to work not exactly so not everybody has a stand-up frame like mm -hmm. we do which is fine or a lap frame but if you even have it on a frame or even snaps, if you're using a hoop put the hoop down on your lap on your or lap on the table or on the table or on a pillow on your lap yes I find that once it's up a Absolutely. little bit I find it a little easier to manipulate mm -hmm. so those are the hints but the actual doing of bullion knots, which I think I've got a bunch of them on YouTube. Yes. Um, so you can go there and look for, sorry, go to YouTube and enter the search term Victoria Sampler first. Yeah, and, and then, then bullion, bullion knots. Yeah, or just bullion, just in case I never use the mm, word knot. Knots. <laughs> that would be typical. Uh, and there I should, uh, I think there is a couple of instances, if not more, where I'm showing a bullion knot right from the beginning every single time. Yes. So practice. I know you can do it. So I think we can go up a little ways okay. because uh, there, there's Mickey's thing. No matter what. Petra says, I'm going to send out the mail out soon, but I forgot to let Lisa know the um, SKU, which is our product number of the new free mini. So I need to wait till I confirm that with you, Lisa. Yeah, you may be out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that's good. We will do that. We need to put Friendship Forever Mini in as a PDF. I thought I had put two in last week. and Not the same one, probably. No, no. And, but the one I put in last week already has that skew, but it doesn't mean that I can't change it. <laughs> what we'll do, Petra, is you email that to Lisa, because putting it here means that we have to look for it again, and so just email her. Thank you very much. We have to coordinate yes. uh, the, the products exactly. that way. And you're lucky I'm nice. <laughs> Dory says, that would definitely be a problem. Everyone wanting to talk over one another. And it does get yeah. organized, I believe, Dory. Mm -hmm. It does. Um, those Zoom meetings, uh, I mean, people have been meeting like that Absolutely. since COVID For, started. Yeah, that's right. They've been doing it before that. But now it's like Zoom is probably the most popular meeting formatting thing. right now yeah, yeah format for meetings yeah and actually Petra and I because she lives way over in Vancouver 
and can't come here. Um, we've been Zooming. doing Zooming all the time. So it's not like it's un, unheard of. It just means what we always experience is we get people going, help, yeah. I can't get it or do whatever. Yes. It's not the actual technical part. Mm -hmm. It's what to do with people who will be flooding us with info, um, you know, trying to get in and all that, honestly. It, exactly. And <laughs> with the PDF downloading, it would be, yeah, you know, all devices download PDFs differently. And they're stored. Oh, we're talking about a, a separate problem. Uh, yes. Which is what another thing that yeah. people actually yes. ask us yes. about, which is downloading PDFs. PDFs. So this is a really good thing yes. to, to talk about actually now because mm -hmm. we have this new website. We can do PDFs. It's all wonderful. But yeah. some people, very few people, but mm -hmm. some people really experience problems downloading their PDF. Mm -hmm. uh, and really, we had only five out of 300 people last True. time. Yes. So, so that's not that, that many. Not that many. Anymore. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yes. But we do want to educate you that if you are going to download from our website uh, the free pattern or uh, any of the ones that you pay PDFs, for, yes. any other PDFs, don't forget that when they are clicked on, don't keep clicking. Yes. <laughs> Click on it once, and then if you don't see something happening, go to the files in your device. If you're on your desktop, you need to go to the, I think it's uh, on PCs, they are under your documents, and then it says, My Downloaded Files. I don't know what it's like on a Mac. No, and I've not tried it on my Mac. So. Well, maybe you yeah. can try. On tablets and on phones, you literally have to go into the phone directory or whatever mm -hmm. it is into the Your settings. Yeah, possibly? I'm not sure where, but yeah. I know you can find the word files and look there and you'll you may have to plug it into your yeah, computer in you order might to be have able to, to see it. Exactly, because I've kind of looked through my iPad and my iPhone and I can't see anywhere in there where it says files. So, so because we don't yeah, know those exactly. answers, um Maybe one of you who has actually downloaded um, patterns to your iPad, mm -hmm. tablet, iPhone, or phone. Those are yeah. four different ways of looking for things. And, and they course. probably all have different ways of where <laughs> they keep the files. Exactly. So they get directly downloaded to that yes. place where they keep your downloaded files. So if you do that, I, we recommend highly that you go to a desktop or a, or a Mac that's yeah. easier to see through your browser window but if you have your phone which is fine or your tablet or iPad don't forget you will look there first and highly likely you'll find mm -hmm. them yeah I think on my MacBook I know where they go I there you go that's yeah. on your laptop yeah that's on my laptop mm -hmm. haven't figured out for the iPad or the iPhone but I haven't given up I'm gonna keep on looking <laughs> So. <laughs> well, look, but we get a number of people email, or used to get a lot yeah, more. Now that absolutely. Petra's fixed it so that you can, your download should work right away. Yeah. Um, and if you find somehow that it really doesn't, then don't forget to email us at info, and we will make sure that you get your your yes. uh, download. You know, because, I mean, it's horrible. If you've paid for something, we check to make sure you yeah. paid. <laughs> don't you worry. Uh, Corinne says, I did that in long form for my dear pen friend of some 40 plus years. She lost her fight last year. She loved it though. I sent it to her at work at the Chicago White Sox and people started visiting her office to see the beautiful Aww. embroidery. <laughs> Corinne, that's such a lovely story. And it is, uh, I really appreciate you saying that because I'm so glad that you sent that to your friend. Loretta says, thanks Petra. Okay, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> that's great, Pet. Oh, sorry, Lisa. I already... <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. I'll um, take care of it when I get back. Can. Yeah. Omera says, greetings from Colombia. Greetings back to you. Mickey says, that's what I'm doing wrong. I have a little tabletop frame. Oh. Well, the tabletop frames work mm -hmm. really well as long as you're not having to hold it. Yes. You know, it sits on your table. Yeah top then you've got two hands free let's see what happens once you have two yeah. hands free Deborah says hi nice to see y'all same to you and Patty says our seminar today is 50 people zoom gotcha so yeah. everybody really likes the idea of zoom we got it yeah absolutely <laughs> that's good so keep it up and I think it's wonderful because zoom will figure out all of the bugs that they used to have yeah. because you guys are doing that 
Jennifer says, do you like using a lap frame or a floor frame to hold your scroll frames? I have both. I do too. I have both, but I tend to use my lap frames now. Me too. Yeah. And I think the reason is that they're smaller. Yes. So it's easier to kind of yeah. move it aside and it's not, like it doesn't just sit in one place. I can move it all over the house. What's really <laughs> funny is I have my lap frame on a rolling table. Oh, so. <laughs> So I roll the table out and I roll the table back in. So and my lap frame I hold with one hand and I walk throughout the whole house that way. <laughs> so we use our lap frame. You know the one that we like yeah. to use. Um, yeah. uh, unfortunately, that lap frame, what's it called? Um, Kay's Creations. Kay's Creations, which is a wonderful invention. The, yes. The frame is awesome. It had one arm so you can get your hand underneath it so much Absolutely. easier. Absolutely. Unfortunately, it was, um, we have to tell you this because we had to stop selling it. Yeah, we did. We tried to keep them in stock, but for months after months, yeah. um, the new owner, who is the son of the original owner, I believe, is creating his own frames, you know, patterning mm -hmm. it, but they're not as in good um, condition. Uh, quality. Not the quality the has gone quality, down. Yeah. And then, that would be okay. We could you know, live with that. I mean, they're functional. Yeah. But then his a customer service was horrendously Absolutely. difficult. Yes. He would say, yes, we'll send it off to you right away. And, and then six months later, we're still waiting. Yeah. So we just didn't want yeah. to uh, represent someone and we couldn't deal with them. Couldn't get what we needed. So unfortunately, even though they're really good frames. So if you can get a hold of one through some other means yeah. or maybe... Uh, you can look at his website and remember to order it and then pay for it. <laughs> yes, whereas, you know, we once, did the opposite. <laughs> what, what, once he has your uh, number, he does it right away and then you have to wait and wait and wait and ask yeah. and ask. And so ask be them. careful. But there are other frames in the world. Yeah, there and, are. And uh, we should maybe look yeah. for some that are similar yeah. to the one that we have. I was thinking of that, um, what, what the other company, Doodlin, Doodlin, Doodlin Brown, Brown or, something? or something like that. Yeah. Or we can yeah. get our woodworker maybe to create those frames. Maybe. You know, yeah. recreate yeah. what we love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, that's our answer, Jennifer Absolutely. Gowan, and we're sticking with it. Jennifer Dardiello says, on my Samsung, I have files on the phone. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I haven't been able to find that on my iPhone. So. Oh, and look at this. Yeah. On a Mac, which is like mm -hmm. the, uh, a desktop version, yeah. you can open Finder and find your download. Yeah, that's I kind of yeah, knew Thank where you. on the Mac I could find them. But So when you say on my Samsung, that is the phone. Yes. So now we have the Mac. Yeah. And Patty says, I print it from the email. Now, I'm not sure that we send you any. Oh, there's an email that comes to you when you have bought a download. Mm -hmm. And if you click on a link in the email, yes, that's great if it, if it appears then. But some people will click on that link and they don't realize it, but it's actually being downloaded directly to, to their to files. Files, yes. And on a Mac, it looks like Taffy says, I, it opens and I say to open in Safari and then I can print or save oh. or whatever I want. Right. Yep. Open in your um, browser window. Absolutely. Uh, hi, ladies, says Sylvia Coots. Hi, Sylvia. And Sarah says, hi, I love the PDF charts. I can blow up the sections, and that's becoming an increasingly yep. important feature. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were just saying that this morning. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know about you, but I just kept saying, I wish I could see better. Yep. That's right. I was looking at numbers and I thought it was one point something and no, it was 1,000. <laughs> That's quite a difference, right? <laughs> anyway, Sarah, you're absolutely right. So many people like to have it on their device mm -hmm. and they can prop up their device on a book holder or something. And then just like you do with your um, tablet or whatever, you, you make it so that it's big and you can see it so easily. So Exactly. But I think I'm getting to the point where I might need to wear glasses all the time. Uh -oh. I still have it in my head that, no, no, I only need them for certain things. <laughs> Reality check. Reality is, it's like, no, no, I think I need them more often. <laughs> well, I've had glasses on since I was, I think, eight years old. I remember so clearly uh, the teacher, I was at the front of the class, and the teacher called on me, and I was usually pretty okay with answering and stuff, and she called me, and I said, um, I don't know, and it was like right in front of the class, and it was a really easy question. She said, I think maybe you'd better go and see the optometrist. <laughs> Kate loves these Friday morning live streams. Thank Thanks, you. Kate. We love that. 
Thank you. <laughs> Sarah um, Campbell, I just wanted to say thank you so much for mentioning that you love the PDF charts. And we are so grateful yeah. <laughs> that we're now able to have them made and that Petra is in charge of creating and managing that part of things. So nice. I have both frames as well, and I prefer my lap one too. Oh, okay. That's uh -huh. about the K's frame. Jennifer says, my K's lap frame is the older one I've had for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Too bad about now is right, Jennifer. Really disappointed, and we felt that like I didn't want to badmouth anybody. No, but no. this is a really important thing if you're counting on it, you're buying something from yes. them, and then yeah. you don't get any answer. Yeah, and every time you do ask for something, they go, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about yeah. that. So sorry about that. I'm a little behind. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah." <laughs> Karen Peterson wants to know: Are there any new ones Christmas themed? Hmm. I think no. you're talking about new designs. No, no, there's no new Christmas themed designs. There will right now, be, but not until the fall. I'm afraid so. Yeah, yeah, nothing quite yet, but there are some new little ones coming out very soon. And uh, as soon as we've finished all of the things that we are in the process of doing by changing over, mm -hmm. trust me, I am going back to designing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's, it's just like I'm being held back. Um, so Anne says, I have downloaded to an iPhone. An arrow that appears in right, the right top, top hand, hand corner. corner. Just click on oh, it. That seems simple this enough. This is so good. We've got Thank some you. advice we absolutely. can give people. Yeah. Why didn't we talk about it, this before? Uh, absolutely. Thank you. Sorry, it popped into my head because no, I, 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 was, I guess I was anticipating the email being sent out today and <laughs> the emails I'm going to be getting. <laughs> This is great. Yeah, we can give this, we can make this a little thing. I, I think we need to copy about the um, all the suggestions about yep. where they can find them and then um, put it in an email so we can send out to people if they have questions. If you're using this, try this. If you're using that, try that. And so I have a feeling Petra's on it right now. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> email that to me later on. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if you're if you're not doing that. That's okay. We'll go back and get and, it. And then I might think about sending you some chocolate. <laughs> um, Trisha says, "Phew! I'm glad I got my K-frame from you. Yes, just yes. recently. As in over 50 years of stitching, it's the best design. I trust yeah. you mean the the design of the Absolutely. frame. The K's creation. I yeah. have ever come across. I love it. Uh, yeah, the workmanship yeah. was a bit lacking uh, yeah. for yours, but at least it's functional." So, my Samsung tablet also has a file folder, and that happens at the left bottom corner. Cool. So that's very much the same as on my PC. I noticed that there's a little file folder that opens, and it says downloading, downloading. Okay, downloaded, and then I can open it and uh, print from there or save from there. On the iPhone, it is settings, Safari, downloads. Even more information. Cool. You guys, you're great. Files app. Kathleen Yacht says on her iPhone, they go to the Files app. I didn't know there was a Files app. I've tried looking for the Files app, so, you know. It's, well, at least no. you Google. Thank <laughs> you so much, Kathleen. Virginia says, I have a System 7 lap stand on a small tilt-top table. They're pricey, but it has been worth every penny. Oh. System 7 lap stand. Hmm. I think I've heard of System 7 before, but that's definitely something for us to look up. Thank you. Virginia yep. System 7 lap frame. And I have to say, what isn't pricey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, it, if it works like you if say, it works, it's worth every penny. Absolutely. <gasps> Thank you. Lot, lots of, you know, I find a lot of embroidery things are pricey, but yeah, worth every penny. And I don't think that it's because they are themselves um, so that they need to be, but there just isn't an awful lot of yeah. competition. Uh, number one and number two, Tom. many of the things are they have they have to have something that is worth their while to Absolutely. create. So yeah. it has to make enough money so they can keep working at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not easy. It's all handmade stuff. So thank you, Virginia, Susan, Grace. You yeah. um, may have solved our problem. Absolutely. And Sarah says you're welcome. Thank you, Patra. On some Windows 10 systems, when you download a file, depending on your settings, the file name appears in Sprawl. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. You can open and save it. Those are familiar to us because that's just what we Absolutely. have. Absolutely. Mary says magnifiers are a good help. True, they are. 
but you yes. can't walk around with one of those or you look like Sherlock. Yes. <laughs> I, and the glasses that I have for work are computer glasses and I can't walk around wearing them. So, you know. <laughs> Do you know that I have three pairs of glasses? Like these ones are my computer glasses for this streaming area. Yes. Yeah. These are my walking around glasses, which looks very similar. And then I have a pair of computer glasses in the other room, and I have duplicates of this one, which is my long distance driving glasses. Four yes. pairs, all look very similar, different colors. Yeah, different colors. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, Jennifer says on the Samsung phone, it has a built in app called My Files. Uh, it's orange, and you can't miss oh, it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Petra is giving me the the tongue out thing because yeah. I'm saying that she's collecting all these facts. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. <laughs> uh, Serena just bought a case creation steel frame through Etsy. It came with schedule. It's expensive. It works extremely well. Will do. Uh, Needlework System 4 is available as a laptop or a floor stand. Needlework System 4. Okay. Yep. And you're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're almost at the end of we our uh, yes. time. And I did want to mention that the, uh, Petra, when she sends out the new mail out, mail out. that she's got a couple of other things mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that she put in it was heart to heart. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at that one for first. Heart to heart is this one here. It's a cute little learning sampler. And it's got some hard anger and some Bargello mm -hmm. and some hem stitching. The kit or the backpack will have these colors in it. I hope you can see. There we go. It's all nicely focused. There's the hard anger. This was during a period of time when I was really feeling like um, I wanted to work with very soft colors. Uh, I've changed that since. So you can change this so easily into the colors you like. Or you can use the backpack with, I believe these, this one still has backpacks with it. I believe that one still has backpacks. So, uh, the colors, of course, since you first stitched it, are slightly different yes. than what they are today. But they'll look just as but lovely. They'll look just as wonderful, absolutely. So, so many people have used this one as a little tiny wedding sample uh -huh. yeah. for people that, you know, maybe not in your family, you don't want to spend a lot of time, but it is so sweet in the wedding colors of the people. If you know, for, for instance, if the bride has got, you know, white in, uh, even black or white and purple and and peach you can add those colors in here mm -hmm. so this is a really nice versatile thing and it's also very much about friendships there's a warmth and joy that never ends between the hearts of special friends so that's this one and it is heart to heart, heart, to heart. Mm -hmm. and this is my very first design yes that I ever made um, and started me on my needlework sampler career. Yes. There it is. Okay, so I'm shaking a little bit because I'm holding it very tightly. It has some um, uh, hem stitching in it. It has some pulled stitching mm -hmm. in it. it. Has some... A little bit of hard anger. A tiny bit of hard anger. And, of course, the my favorite uh, Lazy Daisies and my Bonnies. I call them Bonnies. So this one is the very first one I ever did. And when you see the pattern, you'll see that it is actually completely hand drawn. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even at the time when I made this pattern, which was the first pattern ever printed. It was, exactly. And I have to open it up because... We didn't actually yes, print it correctly. There. We printed it on much floppier paper. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there were so many mistakes with this one, but it's my it's my first one, so exactly. I thought, well, we have it now, so we'll still sell it. Yeah. <laughs> but the actual drawing in it is done with a pen and ink. Yes. On paper that was graph paper. Uh, the design, the diagrams are all hand done. The instructions are not nearly as clear as you make the instructions now. I, re I remember doing <laughs> my first edit before I started charting myself, and I. Was circling things on the chart and you said I can't fix that they're hand drawn it's like oh, okay <laughs> so anyway when you see this it's a little piece of history I believe I did this in 1993 yes I just yeah. looked that up recently yeah so. did you look that up yeah anyway this one is also uh, now yep, available as a pdf so it's it's a small pdf but it's a pdf none the same so enjoy that and the last but not least is this last? Not quite. Not quite. Why don't you show Kathy's 
as well. I, I will. One of Kathy's is also there, but we don't exactly. have the original. The original. It's called Trust and Contentment. And Kathy mm -hmm. has the original. Kathy Jean used to work for us, and then she took all her originals home. I think so. so. This yeah. is really nice. What does it say underneath here? Trust and contentment radiate from a good friendship. Right, exactly. So when you see the bottom, then you can see what the whole point of it is. Sorry about the leaflet kind of shining. There, that's better. I guess when you don't point it right at the lights, that works. Oh, yes. But it's really cute. It's got a dog and a cat in it as well. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. It's a PDF. And finally, friends, are blossoms in the garden of life. Yeah. And there is the leaflet. Friendship sampler. Which you may have seen already. Exactly. I know there's a, um, what do you call it? There's a um, needle roll. Yeah. And I couldn't quite find that this morning in my rush. But I did find the sampler itself, which when you first look at it, it's very detailed. It has some blanket stitch roses at the very top. I don't know if you noticed those or not. Then some specialty stitches, some pulled thread, which are not the easiest, but they are really pretty. And then, of course, the verse and some scotch stitches, some Rhodes hearts, and some more hem stitching. And friendship is encircled. All those flowers are um, flowers that, are, that mean friendship and friends. And then there's quite a nice um, hardanger section at the bottom. I think one of them is um, the blanket stitch flower. And what was the other one called? I, I, I know it's a long name. Do you remember what that one's called? Which one is that? Sorry. Okay, that's this one here. Oh, um, Edelweiss? Is, is this that a, the Edelweiss? That could be the Edelweiss one. Yeah. Right. Oops, there. <laughs> that one there. Let's just have a look and see if it actually says in, says in here. Somehow I thought it Maybe it is the Edelweiss. Yeah, I think so. Blanket stitch. Uh, yeah, it is. Edelweiss. Um, yeah. um, so it's a it's a pattern that's really good for um, enjoying friendships and giving to people or your friends. But it also really teaches you a lot about the hardanger. Yes. And finally, it's a little free pattern that is released for the next week, and you can apparently choose one free pattern this coming week, and it can be either last week's pattern or this one, which also is part of the. Uh, friendship uh, sampler. It's very similar colors. It's called Friends Forever, which uh, was finished into a little ornament, but can also be finished into a little pin cushion yes. or some other um, thing that you like. So this one. Now remember, when you put um, this little free pattern, it will be free until the until the following week. So this little free pattern is available. You have to go through the shopping cart for this and put in your discount code for the for this um, free pattern. Now, if you include this in your other with your other free patterns, you can only put in one discount code at a time. Right. So what you might want to do is put this one in one order. Yes. And then if you want to take buy this one, which is the uh, friendship sampler, you have to do it in another order. Exactly. And you'll yeah. get your ten percent off the PDF. Yes. Okay. So you can only use one code at a time per order. Per order. So make two orders if yeah. you want to use both of them. Okay, well, that was a good explanation. Yeah, it was, indeed. Absolutely. And Tricia says, thanks for the free patterns. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Petra, for creating them for us. And those exactly. ones are from our old free patterns, and they're coming on board, as you see, yes. little by little. Uh, oh, on yeah. her Commodore 64, the PDF download <laughs> ends up in a magazine. I'm surprised someone still has a Commodore 64. Yeah. My aunt, that is hilarious. <laughs> okay, thanks for the joke. <laughs> oh, my aunt, that's great. I have an aunt light with a magnifying glass attached. <laughs> uh, I do, too. Unfortunately, the screw that holds the arm so I can adjust it, yeah. stripped and... Uh, it's not a regular size screw, so you cannot get it anywhere. And so now my magnifying glass is of no use. That's really sad. Yeah. I might give you one of mine because yeah. I have a, a 
d d are there several screws in there? Because if no, it's just one, and it fits in like it's kind of a it's an not light. It's got a nice round base, and then the arm, and then the magnifying's on top. Mm -hmm. Now this screw that holds in down below down below makes the arm ah uh, that you can lower it or raise it, and that is stripped, and now I cannot. Use it. I'm and sorry. I'm, sad. I'm sorry. I know. Maybe we'll get it fixed somehow. I hope so. Yes. Because it, you know, cost me. Otherwise, you're going to whine yeah. for I, the next rest of the day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been like that for a few months now. I had asked my husband to go find, and of course, you know, that was kind of useless to ask him <laughs> to do something like that. But anyways, I'll have to go and <laughs> go find it myself. Okay, mm -hmm. smile at the people because we're going to say goodbye because your husband's I, listening. <laughs> no, he's not. Thank goodness he's not Aww. a Facebook person. But anyways. Thank you, Pandora. Thank you. We love yeah. you as well. And yeah. thank you for loving our free patterns. We're going to say goodbye now. And we are. Until next week. And we're both going to smile yeah. so that we get a really good little, what is it? Exactly. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a Bye. great weekend. Have a good week. And see you next weekend. Oh, see, I always yeah. do yeah, this. I think I'm ending. done, but I'm not. Okay, bye, bye. again.